Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Cheryl and welcome to Cheryl and Food etc. Today we are going to make some fish balls. Fish balls is a very common street food back in the Philippines and today we are going to make it but we're using canned tuna so let's go make some fish balls. So for our ingredients we have one can flake tuna. We're going to drain off the water. Um, we have two garlic cloves, one shallot, one small carrots, one celery stick, uh, one potato, and one egg. And for our spices, we have two tablespoons of cornstarch, we have one half teaspoon salt, one half teaspoon black pepper and one fourth teaspoon of baking powder you're also going to need one fourth cup of whole crisp flour so we are going to boil all this vegetable at the same time in the same pot uh just uh, bear in mind just cut your celery a little bit smaller and same thing with carrots it a little bit smaller compared to uh, your potatoes because those two vegetables are a little bit harder and it takes a while for them to cook so that's it we'll just put this in a pot put some water and we'll boil this until it soft sends pour in one cup water and we will boil this Okay guys, our vegetable, our full cooked is really nice and soft now. I've uh, been boiling this for at least 10 to 12 minutes, so it's time to drain it and we're going to mash it. So when I boiled this vegetable, I didn't put any seasoning, so uh, Let's go put the rest of the ingredients and mix it all up. We're gonna start with our flake tuna. I drained the water off from it. So now it's just tuna. Then we can add our one half teaspoon salt, our one half teaspoon ground black pepper, one half teaspoon uh, baking powder, two tablespoon of cornstarch, and one egg. Now we can slowly add our flour. Now let's make a little fish ball. Now it's time to fry our fish bowl.
So we are cooking this uh, around uh, two to three minutes or until golden brown. You should see this. Our last batch is done and we're going to take it out from our oil. So I made 24 pieces of tuna fish bowl. Now we are going to make some uh, sweet and spicy sauce to dip our fish bowls. For sweet and sour sauce, we need minced uh, garlic clove. This is two pieces, one small shallot minced, and uh, ginger strips, just a little bit, and one chili, uh, fresh ones. If you don't want to be spicy, you can skip the chili. We have one cup water, one tablespoon of uh, white vinegar, one tablespoon cornstarch, one tablespoon brown sugar, and we're probably gonna need around one tablespoon of banana ketchup or any ketchup you have. This is just for the purpose of color for your sauce. We are going to combine our cornstarch and water and mix it up. set this aside. So in a preheated pan or saucepan, we uh, have at least one tablespoon of oil and it's already heated. Um, we can start sauteing our garlic and onion and ginger. tablespoon ketchup and then our cornstarch and water mix then we can add in our vinegar that's one tablespoon and one tablespoon of sugar and of course salt and pepper for seasoning fresh chilies uh, feel free to add seasoning as much as you can if you want it more salty or a little bit spicy you can just adjust it uh, you can even add extra fish sauce if you like or if you wish so this is done it's already thick and that's what we are looking for for our dipping sauce Thank you guys for watching my video hope you like this recipe and give this a try uh, please don't forget to like share and subscribe and we'll see you again on my next video take care